Welcome to day two of Battle Alabama 2024. Today we're going to start out in the vendors section. We walked around to OBS Nationals yesterday and the VIP row out on the side of the track. But these events wouldn't be possible without these vendors. So let's see who's here today. We'll kick it off with Brian's Motorsports. When I went to C10 Nationals, they uh, had a, a shop party and I went to their uh, open house and man, they had all kinds of crazy stuff in there. They sell a ton of parts and build all kinds of crazy stuff. And then uh, of course you got the old slosh tubs, tried and true at almost every event we go to with uh, Zach's, I think it's an 86 with uh, the slosh mild tubs. Zach actually delivered a core support for Cookie Monster. Much appreciated, man. That is gonna help me tremendously get going on that project. We also got Poppy's Patina. We got Dewey's International right here. This thing is, uh, is awesome. He was a Florida boy, but now he had to go to Tennessee. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this truck's been all over the place. Uh, I was talking to him yesterday. He's gonna be doing a West Coast tour with this thing, possibly at the end of the year, so. This thing is awesome. He pulled this thing out of a field and got it all dolled up and looking good. Ooh, a fleet side Apache right here out of Arkansas. Got an uh, acrylic pour with bottle caps in the bed. Some classic, classic tops there. Oh, of course we got a little LS action in there. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, they, so these are the koozies I want to do, magnetic koozies, so you can stick them on your uh, vehicle. Got Suburbia Suds over here. Elusive fabrication. Looks like a lot of merch booths over here. At Square Body Nation. Crazy D's apparel. <laughs> Got some artists over here. You got Bedwood. Of course, these guys do the uh, lay-in bed systems. Rifey's Hot Rod and Restorations. And over here is the OBS National. So a dually's right on the other side of that big OBS right there. And uh, that's pretty full today, which is awesome. Seen this Hummer before out at the Eastbound Get Down in Daytona. Again, this one's got all the crazy engraving and stuff. Paint work, all that fun stuff. <laughs> I saw this dude roll in. Look at the bed work on this thing, man. Everything smoothed up. It's beautiful. Sitting at the AccuAir booth. Oh, it looks like we got Jeff Foker's pace truck right here. Saw this guy yesterday out at the, uh, next to the merch booth. This thing is awesome. There's so much detail in this truck, it's like crazy. So actually, uh, my buddy Joe uh, Aguizio, his dad owned this truck and sold it, to, sold it to Jeff and it took him two years to build. Look at those HDX gauges there. Uh, I need that for my dually. It's a cover of CK Magazine. But just the interior is super nice. Everything is very well appointed. I saw this one at LST. And uh, yeah, man, it's super nice. If you get in here, favorite part is if you look at the air tanks, you can see the uh, pace truck stripes. I'll zoom in for you. See that right there? Got a dually rolling through here. Got some custom cuts on there. CK Syndicate. Veneta Fabrication, he makes all kinds of crazy parts for these trucks. This is one of his builds right here. All right, let's see what we got down here. Oh, there's Gearheads Coffee. 
some candy. Might be making a stop there later. I saw this dually at uh, Fall Revival. This thing is super, super clean. Checking this Tahoe out yesterday. I was wondering if uh, these were painted on or if this is like a wrap. It looks like it's painted on. We got Roosters Rod Shop. They're out in Tampa and low car performance. I got a lot of their parts on uh, a few of my trucks and very high quality. Love their stuff, man. But check out this Chevelle, dude. We saw this at Slam Fest in Tampa this year. Twin turbo, big block. Look at the turbo inlets on both sides. Of course, the glass is up right now because it's starting to rain. Fighting that a little bit today. Got some more clothing stores over here. You got Neon Shop, Neon Sign Shop, classic sign company. Been kind of finding the rain a little bit today. We caught a little break, but it looks like storm's rolling in. So I'm gonna hop on some of these uh, um, garage bays and show you guys some of these vehicles that are undercover right now. We rolled up and saw this slammed Tundra, dude. Like when these body styles first came out, oops, sorry. When these body styles first came out, I thought this would look so good on the ground. And dude, this does not disappoint. It is so awesome. Got a beautiful 56 right here. A lot of, lot of metal work on this truck. Some nice shot wheels. Paint work is just nuts. Little raised bed floor. Got shaved drip rails, Ken Diggett door handles. Interiors, just nice. Excuse me. All the body gaps are like freaking perfect. And then the freaking engine bay. Excuse me. It's a little tight in here right now while it's raining. The engine bay is just nuts. I might make a good thumbnail right there. You got a 69 Camaro. These fellas are putting in some work over here. Holy cow. Yeah, they're polishing all that metal right there. Paint work on this thing is nuts. It's a beautiful car. Got a nice Buick over here. Wish you guys could smell this. It smells like some fresh leather up in there. Fleetside Apache, they got the build video going right here. So the dude that owns Dixon Flannel, uh, this is his truck. It's got the LT4 supercharged motor in there. It's probably throwing down about 800 horsepower. Super nice truck. And we got the rain. Everybody's getting all uh, covered up here. So we'll hop over to the next bay. See what's going on in here. Convertible Chevy, dude, with a big old blower on it. Henry's toy. Holy cow. Y'all, I'm sorry if uh, the videos are kind of tight in here. There's not a lot of room to move around. Everybody's, like I said, it's in here from the rain. But uh, we're making do with what we got. Let's check out this Nova. Again, some crazy engine bay work. See just the undercarriage is spotless, man. And the interior is nice. I'm gonna go around this way. It's 
get a look at that there. Some built specialties. Matching the interior. Heck yeah. And then you got this freaking awesome. Is that 55? Bel Air wagon with an LT5. Oh my god. <laughs> that is nuts. Beautiful, like root beer brown. Oh man. That is so nice. Got the side windows that open up here. Extremely straight paintwork. Stout. Oh, it's a Nomad. Sorry, guys. My goodness. Oh, this is the uh, 58 Impala. By, built by uh, Big Oak Customs. My buddy Jake actually painted this car. And uh, this thing's beautiful, man. I mean, every single car in here is just nuts. Look at the interior. Look at the door panels, the kick panels down there. It's a manual transmission. Look how low the gauges are right there. Custom steering wheel, beautiful seats. Does that mean that it's lightning? Yeah, we're good, we're good. So they said that if uh, it starts lightning, they're gonna sound an alarm. I think that's what just went off. And we all gotta be in this huge building. That's where the uh, pre-party was last night, even though the show's already going on, but we're still pre-party. But anyway, so I guess the rain's moving in a little bit harder than what we thought. Look at this, uh, look at this rear end here, man. Look at how tight all the body lines are. Look how, this, the, the bumper is just tucked. It's just, this thing is just nuts. You got another fleet side Apache here. Some custom door handles. Taking a peek on the interior. What do we got for a motor? Really super sanitary engine bay. Everything's very clean. So it looks like running a big block. Excuse me. Oh, another beautiful 55 right here. Super sanitary engine bay. Just awesome. Billet specialty wheels. And then this freaking 57, dude. Look at that color. That is just awesome. <laughs> Interior, we'll get under the side, see if we can, oh, we won't be able to walk around that side. Look at that intake setup. You got a couple of, a couple of turbos there. Excuse me. That is just crazy. Some nice, super nice shot wheels. Like a black chrome on all this trim. Can you see it? Very cool. And yeah, that interior is just awesome. Alrighty, just jumped to the other side of the building here. Showed you guys and gals this Rolls Royce yesterday, I think. Excuse me. If I didn't, here it is, and uh, it's awesome. Got a super clean Mazda right here. Excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty gum clean, man. Would you look at that? Looks like a 69, excuse me. It's like a 69 Chevelle right here. It's 
see if I can walk around this side. I'm digging the orange on the interior. Yeah, TMI, TMI buckets. I wonder if this is like a, just an interior kit you can buy from TMI. Excuse me. And we got a 67 Nova right here. Oh, 60, sorry, 64 Nova. Super nice. I mean, I want to get closer, but I can't. I got this dang railing in the way, but I know why it's there. Check out the carbon fiber headlights. I mean, obviously super sanitary engine bay. US mags coming through with a killer wheel design. Wheel wood brakes, very nice. We got this, uh, this old Corvette here. 427 Corvette, split bumper. Late 50s, don't know what exact year. Not a Corvette expert, but I do appreciate him. You got a four speed. Right there. It's just awesome. It's uh, why they call it a split bumper, I guess. I don't know. Very nice. And you got Craig's Mazda. Super nice, dude. A lot of great paint work. Seen this truck multiple times. Love it. So actually, fun fact, the fella that built this is the owner of the crazy tribal Indy Pace truck called the Indy Killer I showed you guys yesterday. Pretty cool. And you got an IROC with bigs and littles. Look at this interior. It's like that old school tweed. I'm loving it. Very complicated shifter there. Race stuff, big blower. Looks great. Got a really clean OBS with some really nice paint on it. Some old school billet specialty rims. Even got like pinstriping on the uh, center console there. Got a steering wheel to match. Custom painted work in here. Billet, billet parts and pieces. Excuse me. I mean, you got, a, you got Bonnie and Clyde over here. So this is Clyde. Uh, don't know what it is. But it's been uh, metal finished and sealed with Poppy's Patina. They're a sponsor right here. I don't know if we showed you guys their booth. Yeah, we did. I just remembered that. It's a 1940 Pontiac, two-door sedan. Uh, now I know what I'm talking about because I just talked to that fellow over there and uh, the owner. And then this is Bonnie. Got a little LS swap action here. Check out that grill. It's a 40, no, 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 40 Terraplane. Not very many of these were made. Um, gosh, I can't remember what, what year it is, but it is awesome, man. It's a work in progress. Got a little break from the rain. Sorry, got generators running in the uh, vendor section. Gonna keep walking here and checking everything out. You got your Gear Star transmissions right over here. They got some pretty stellar products and a two door Tahoe with a Whipple on it. Super clean. This generator is super loud, but you know, we're just checking out the truck. And we got some more things down here. Coker tires on the other side of these guys. You got Big Daddy's ceramic detailer. Probably, again, it just stopped raining and we we're kind of walking around checking everything out. This car is actually staying at the uh, hotel with us. We saw him roll in. Uh, digging that old school kind of hot rod paint job there. CPITruck.com. 
precision, quality weather stripping. Used quite a few of their products on my builds over the years. Of course, you got US mags. I've seen this truck uh, on the GM tailgate tour and at a couple other shows. Of course, with a set of US mags on it. Oh, I didn't even uh, come to these garages over here. We'll have to check those out in a minute. You got this crazy paint. NBS right here. Oh, it's cat eye. Whoa, paintwork goes into the cab. Look at that. And then it's continued on the roof. On the roof. Got some air tank manufacturers over here. Switch suspension. Met the uh, owner of this company yesterday, just out walking around on the track. It was pretty cool. Roadster shop, dude. They got killer products. That'd be uh, goals to have this uh, one of these chassis one day. So I believe this is their Canton Levered independent rear suspension OBS frame. You can get it on air, you can get it on coil. This one's on air. They put a ton of R&D into this frame. Super cool. They even do lifted four-wheel drive stuff. I love this truck right here. This is one of their uh, shop builds. Um, 77 C10. Got some really nice wheels cut on it. It's super awesome, man. Yep. Fired up a race car over here and it turned it off. Coming down this aisle, we got a couple of really killer vendors. Craig's Restoration Parts, reseller for AMD, big fan of them. Then you got Classic Car Studio over here. Now these guys build the most insane hot rods. Metal work on these cars are unbelievable. This charger is just absolutely beautiful. They got YouTube videos on uh, all these builds too. You can go check out what they've done to it, see all the detailed work, but it's unbelievable what they put into these vehicles. I mean, it's all billet, custom made stuff. Wouldn't be surprised these wheels were custom cut just for this car. We know this truck, Dirty Martini, with the super famous Ryan Meyer. What's up, man? How are you? Good, brother. How are you? Good. Good. Just coming to check out the truck, man. Oh, there it is. Got that LT, LT5 running good, throwing down about 800 horsepower, yeah. maybe a little more. This truck's sitting on number one Art Morrison chassis for the uh, 60, 70, 72 body styles. Custom cut wheels, beautiful interior. This truck is awesome. Finished by Classic Car Studio. Ryan's actually got an episode on C10 Talk with Ronnie about the growing pains, building pains of trying to get this truck done in a three year build process to knock it out. And he's got videos on uh, Classic Car Studio's YouTube channel. You're famous, man. No, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> Just chatting with Ryan about this, uh, looks like an 82, blazer here so scott is like one of their lead metal fabricators who does a lot of the metal work on these vehicles uh this is his wife's car his wife's blazer and they got a really cool like square body replica dually push cart thing that they have for their little pomeranian they push around the shows the dog's not here the uh cart is but it's hiding somewhere in the trailer so maybe i'll be able to show you guys that at a show one day and you got the Belltech booth Hanging out with these guys. We actually took shelter from the storm here and Greg Nettles, uh, Bell Tech OBS. It's not open right now, but 
I mean, this is an OG build from the early 90s. You got some nice uh, pinstripe work here with uh, twisted metal flake, whatever, the old school fiberglass topper, roll pan, center exit exhaust. I want to try to open this up without Greg's permission. Look at this OG interior. All these original billet pieces from the 90s. He just got these. But this thing is just so clean. So, so, so clean. It's awesome. Beltec, hit him up for all of your suspension needs if you're lifting, lowering, or just going back with factory replacements. That's where it's at. No Limit Engineering. These guys are out of Tennessee. They make some pretty crazy stuff. How y'all doing? Good. Um, actually, just saw this frame at, give me a second, GM Tailgate Tour. And I was wondering like what these were for. So I was chatting with them and they said that this is the frames for a C10 they're building. I guess it's gonna be like a utility bed. So this wasn't on the, the frame the last time we saw it, but this is for side impact because they're gonna race this thing. And uh, I said, yeah, if you hit the wall, you know, you don't have anything to protect you from crumple zone. So that's uh, supposed to help out with that. So yeah, they make all kinds of crazy parts. Well, let's go over to Goolsby Customs real quick. We'll start with his current daily driver, which is this old school extended cab OBS. Pretty clean. Looks like it's got a pearl clear coat on it. So this might be a repaint. Just super clean, super simple. Now, Jonathan does crazy, crazy work, man. Um, this one was Corvettes. I actually didn't see this yesterday. It's my first time laying my eyes on this bad boy. I mean, I wish you guys could see this paintwork, it's nuts. Uh, this Mustang, I saw them like fitting the rear bumper, this rear fascia in the CNC, cutting these trim pieces for the lights. All this is all custom fit. And he said when they were doing this bumper, they had to send the bumper back to the plater like two or three times to get this reveal right because of the way the chrome plating process is. But this is all just custom made ridiculously tight lines. I mean, the attention to detail on these bills is just insane. Nice set of forge line wheels with bare brakes. I mean, you got the lower trim down here that they did. Beautiful engine bay. You got supercharger. That's nice. Oh, then you got the Doge. I believe this is an A100. Talked to Jonathan about this. He said, I just can't feel cool driving this thing because it feels like you're driving a bus. And I said, man, you sure do look cool driving it. This thing is awesome. And then uh, this is another one of their C10 builds as well. So he was chatting about this yesterday. And uh, well, it's closed up, but the headliner is actually all leather wrapped and it's all one piece. But yeah, man, Goolsby Customs does some crazy work. I mean, I think that little showcase right there speaks for itself. You gotta check this, uh, this pace truck was built by Bullock Body Works in Tennessee. And um, I was actually parked next to this truck at C10 Nationals in Nashville. And it was really cool seeing those 24 by 15s. I mean, dude, look at the wheel, it's huge. Uh, and then the Dooley Pace truck right next to it. So that was a cool experience. Got some really clean OBSs here. So this extended cab, this green extended cab, is actually owned by a friend of mine, Eric Mosley. Uh, he's probably watching this in his Tampa Bay Buccaneer room right now. But uh, he had this truck in uh, east, uh, west coast of Florida over in Tampa area and sold it and got into his S10 and you know, he's, he's got some cool stuff, man, but this truck was awesome, dude. I love the graphics on it. I love that green color, it's just super nice. Super clean two-door Tahoe right here. You got a really clean 67. 
next to another really clean 67. This is Mobile Toys Inc. Custom car stereo and upholstery. Throwing it down. Stupor duty. Let's go in here real quick before I go down this last aisle. Uh, I actually don't think I've been in this room yet. I kind of previewed everything else except for this one. Another clean 56 right here with a supercharger on it. Got a little manual transmission action in there. Oh, look at that. Plexiglass and bed floors. You can see all the framework done to it. Along with the magazine feature. Two publications. Got a super nice cougar. All OG right here, dude. Hammered F-150. Got a, a new truck bumper on it there. Camshaft is the hood prop. That's cool. A little custom interior here. Oh, that is very clean. You got a suede headliner, leather wrap dash. You got lights for the wheels, show off those 20 foes. So I've got another clean 56 here, big back window. Wow. Holy crow. <laughs> Look at the motor, dude. All right, y'all gotta tell me, what is, is this a Coyote? I think this is a Coyote motor. So this thing can be throwing down some crazy power. Let me look at this a little bit longer. Yeah, that's wild, man. Oh, well, hey, check this out. Built by none other than Classic Car Studio. Fat Jack. Oh, it's a 540 V8 Ford C6 automatic transmission. Fat Jack chassis. There's all the deets right there. Oh, it's an OG F100 Ranger. This might be the Ford section I found myself on over here. I want to say there was a crew cab over here that I was uh, checking out. That's a Coyote 5.0 right there. Is this the Maze Coats F100? A super clean F100. Got a couple patina rides over here. Ooh, I like the uh, engine bay on this one with a big old fat motor in there, bro. Here is that uh, F100 I saw the other day with the with the brush guard getting uh, getting my vibes from my '67 C10, but this one's way cooler. Also way lower. Oh, you got like a uh, metal flake roof. All right, that was cool. Let's go check out that last vendor row. See what else we're gonna find at this show. Hopefully the rain holds off, cause that sucks. Got the last row here. Got something really special I wanna show you guys, but we got LMC truck over here. They are the premier sponsor of this show. So a couple of trucks that, one you saw yesterday, and two, you saw at Dino's Get Down. But this is a 96 OBS Dually with a cat eye front end conversion and a ton of tiny little metalwork details done. My buddy Mike just redid the graphics and the interior is closed up right now because again, it was raining. But there's just, I love, love, love this truck. This truck's called No Compromise and Literally, there was no expense spared on this build. He's got 
Custom wheels cut by a company out of Arkansas. Just got those. Again, just finished the decals, or the, sorry, the paintwork. Those are not decals. Metal work in the bed's crazy. Jimmy's Rod and Custom in New Smyrna Beach actually did the frame. Twin States Rod Shop did the uh, assembly. There's all the companies involved with the build right there. I think Innerworks uh, did the interior and Smithworks just did the, the, gra the graphics. But yeah, shaved door handles. So this, uh, this detail right here, this is not on a stock cab for a crew cab a GM truck. So this is added. All this was shaved, cleaned up. I mean, dude, just, this truck's awesome. Now coming over here, we saw this one yesterday. This is the Indy Killer. But we're gonna see it in the daylight. And it's kind of open, so I can show you guys the door jams and stuff that I didn't get to see yesterday. But yeah, they went with like a tribal graphic kind of inspiration. You can see even like end of the fender. Like that's what I was talking about. All that custom paintwork was continued into the cab. And they're getting there all cleaned up because it was just raining. Such a sick truck. You got a couple more real nice OBSs over here. Stone Fab, they built some pretty cool uh, parts. CK Syndicate, they had a couple of trucks up here. I think this is one of them that they're building. This is real clean. I think this is gonna be a 454, yep, 454 SS truck, so they're still working on that. And uh, just met this fella, he's got his uh, truck debuted at the LG billet booth. So we got, you know, shifter, we got door handles, you got some, some really nice LG uh, billet parts, grab handles, you know, stuff to make it cool. Four wheel drive, crew cab, lifted truck. That's some uh, good stuff right there. And you wrap it up with SP tools. I need a lift. That pretty much wraps it up for like the main vendor section. Of course, you got the uh, uh, merch booth over there and some other stuff. And then I think I'm gonna head over to, there's a playground, you bring your kids and they can go nuts over there. So they're not going nuts uh, under a tent, sweating their, you know, anyway, uh, getting distracted. Gonna go to see Tins of the South. Well, I had to make a pit stop. Walking by this van, you can get some free candy. No joke, look at that. Sure. Lot 45. Want to show you guys a couple of trucks that just rolled in. There's Derek's new truck. That's going to be on the power tour with us next week. And you got Joe's truck from Ocala. These boys rode up. And they're staying in Atlanta with Rick Cheeseman. Square body gear. And parked right across from them, I met Sarah and Jamie. And Jamie's been, uh, he came up, we started talking, and you know, he's got this killer dually. I think I just gave him some stickers, maybe. He put a sticker on, not yet. But really wanted to come over here and talk about this car. So this is uh, his fiance's soon to be wife's Camaro. They bought it from the original owner. It was one of those stories that was, the car's been sitting in the owner's driveway for 25 years, hasn't moved, gonna build it one day. Anyway, they ended up getting a hold of it. It's a 63,000 mile original vehicle. And he said, man, when we got it, it had moss all over it. It was just super dirty. So they completely took the car apart, repainted it, all new suspension components, rebuilt the motor, and they got it out here. He got about 300 miles on it. And uh, they're gonna start driving this thing and enjoying it. So I thought that was a really cool story. So this again is kind of like the Battle in Bama parking, because again you got OBS Nationals and you got Battle in Bama, so this is kind of like the Battle in Bama side of parking. It's pretty cool. That thing is slammed. You see, Battle in Bama has got like a show. It's a show that has shows inside of the show. So it's not. It's a show, and then you have other shows inside of the show. Like you got OBS Nationals, you got Seats of the South. 
and then you get like the VIP row, you got C10 million dollar row, you got all those like little shows inside the show. So it's a multi show show. Also, they're auctioning off something and uh, raising money for what was the charity? It was uh, to help veterans reintegrate into society with on the job training and stuff like that. Pretty awesome. Made our way to C10s of the South. Open it up with a couple of nice square bodies. Travis has got his booth set up over here. Just a little tin action. That's nice, I gotta get me something like that. Doing a burnout. All right, listen, audio's acting up again. I got my DJI wireless mic, so it may connect, it may not. It's not connecting right now. Just chatting with Brian, SETN. He's doing the uh, GM tailgate tour. That's gonna be an awesome show. Uh, Richard Waller with Long Bed Mafia. Wrapping up the Postalaya. Not gonna lie, I kinda forgot about it. We got C10 Club Georgia. This is Chaz's truck. It's a 67 C10 OG paint truck named Betty Jean. Love the freaking color of this truck. Chaz gets the coolest stuff ever. I haven't seen this thing in a few years. Yeah, every year, every year C10s of the South, again, I'm sorry if the audio is all screwed up right now, but every year C10s of the South is a show within Battle in Bama, and uh, we usually got a really, really good turnout, and we did yesterday, so uh, there's Richard's uh, dually over there, that brown dually. Hey, this is Kyle's dually, the fella that's going to do a burnout, Ken, uh, this is his son, and then, you know, just got some killer trucks over here. You got Ian's heavy heifer. Now, the last video I did on this truck, I had said I think it's got a 6.0. I was wrong, it's got an 8.1 liter in it. It's got the big boy. And that's what powers this beast. Yesterday's whole section was full. I'm kind of bummed out that I waited till today to record it. Rain's picking up again. Probably gotta go back to the van and close up the windows. These fellas are staying at our hotel. A little square body crew cab action right here. Now this is a sweet setup. You got a supercharged small block it looks like on a, uh, a boat being towed by 72C10. That's awesome. So next year they say, Craig said that he may be able to open these up so we can park these trucks inside and everybody kind of hang out in the shops, which would be super awesome and make access easier because there's more show vehicles on the other side of this building. Man, that's a clean Tahoe right there. Well, I just made it back over to the van, grabbed some agua. David Newburn's uh, 57 right here that they drove in. Pretty freaking awesome. Got a big old blower on that sucker. Apparently, Mike Cotton was trying to make it down with his Tahoe, and uh, he broke down in Kentucky. So. They were doing a meet and greet yesterday. I don't think that came to fruition. They were kind of walking around a day, hanging out. Anyway, let's go see these burnouts. Well, we didn't get to see any burnouts because right when we got there, they were wrapping up the burnout contest. So that is awesome. And that is gonna do it for me at Battle in Bama 2024 this year. I gotta turn around and head the seven and a half hours home to go to Daytona so I can get to work on this van. We're gonna do a Beltec drop kit. We're gonna wrap it. We're gonna get it ready for the Hot Rod Power Tour, which is only a week away at the recording of this video. So as always, I appreciate you guys and gals hanging around and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why don't you check this one out over here or maybe check this one out over there. Either way, I'll see y'all in the next video. Ha, 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 ha.